Hello everyone, this is the first video of this whole series of videos talking about how we can start from the scratch to program back of twin safe safety control systems. In previous videos, I showed a couple of videos what the main idea of the safety control systems. I also share some useful materials, for example, uh, Siemens SET or back of application manuals. Maybe you would ask me why I'm going to share the back of twin safe system rather than Siemens or Allen Branley safety system first. As you know, the main brand in the industry control area, the main control system, for example, Siemens, Allen Branley, Omron, Backoff, Schneider, or other brands, they all have a safety control system. Why I start from the Backoff twin safe system? I think uh, I would list uh, some couple reasons. So I think the first reason is that because uh, for the Siemens system and the Allen brand system, I already used them for more than 10 years. I know them very much. I would like to learn some new more while I'm doing the video. In addition, there's a tons of uh, videos and manuals or uh, forums share the information about the Siemens, Allen Branley, or Omro. However, when I start to learn the back of twin safe system, when I start to search the YouTube, Google, or the back of uh, information system, there's no entire videos to show how we can start from the scratch. That's why the first reason I think if I made this uh, serious video, share how we can start from the scratch for the twin safe system, maybe it will very help you if you are just starting from this point. And second, um, you know, back of twin cat system, uh, they based on the code six system. Currently, a lot of brand controllers, they start using code six system, especially some embedded system. It seems that the code six programming platform will be spread widely. So that means once you handled one brand, for example, the back of TwinSafe, this platform very well, after handle this very well, in case one day you need to shift to other brands or other hardware platform, that code the core will be the same. You could shift to other very easily. And for myself, I started uh, the back of TwinSafe and uh, TwinCat system just uh, in one year. And as a learner, I deeply know what kind of information, what kind of manuals is very useful for the starter. So I think this would be a good chance to share this information because all the resources come from the website. Just depends how you can search, how you can use these manuals. And third, so far it's rare to find uh, some serious videos uh, we can use from YouTube or from the forum. So maybe uh, this series video would be a starting point for you if you just uh, learn the twin safe system or even if uh, you just start to program the safety system the fourth reason that is the cost for the uh, back off system as shown in the picture their plc and the hmi uh, can be built in into this uh, cx9020 this controller is running as an embedded uh, window system inside and for the safety controller this is a EL6910 safety controller. It's just a one piece. And if you need a couple input and a safety output, you just need to buy and uh, insert this uh, slice, this card one by one. For the safety cards and the standard cards, they can be inserted flexibly. You only need to care about this uh, power supply for their background bus. So that means uh, for the safety control system, the back off solution would be a little bit a cost effective one. Another cost effective solution, maybe that is a Siemens i7 1200 FC control system. For the small cell with a safety function, uh, both system back off twin safe system and the Siemens i7 1200 safety system, they all useful and uh, would be available for you. So according to these reasons, I would like to share the back of TwinSafe system as a starting point. Maybe after this whole series of videos, 
I would like to share the i7-1200 safety controller using the Siemens TI Portal platform. The TwinKai system uh, you can download from the website from the back of information system. For example, this website, you can download this uh, TwinKai 3.1, this version. And after download that TwinSafe system, uh, that TwinSafe programming environment already built in into this uh, TwinKai. For the programmer or from the engineering, the TwinKai software allows you to use the trail license, which means if you just start to learn how to program the safety system, you could use this uh, TwinKai 3 and use the seven days trial license to try that. And once that trial license expire, you can active another seven days trial license. That means from learning well, that trial license will be a limitation for you. Uh, it's a very good uh, platform for you to using as a start point. And talking about this uh, TwinSafe, uh, if you want to search more information, you can go this website and uh, search TwinSafe from the Google, and you could find the more information and explanation from here. Within the TwinSafe system, other than the software platform, uh, from the hardware wheel, there are three main cards. One is the controller EL6900 or 6910. One is a safety input EL1904. For the safety output, that is a EL2902 or 04 safety output. So it's very simple, just the three main cards. But keep in mind, I found one problem. This picture come from the back of TwinSafe menu. However, I found actually this number showing in the picture, they are wrong. This number sequence actually, they are correct. The number sequence from TwinKite card, they come from this way. Number one, two, three, four. This is a five, four, seven, eight. This number showing here, they are not correct. If you purchase the card, and from the wearing wheel, when you open the box of the card, on the side of this card will show how we can wear that. But for the electrical designer, uh, when they check the menu, those menu picture, they are confused. And talking about this, there are a couple menus we can use. First one, you can search the EL6900 safety controller menu, which is this menu. EL6910 TwinSafe Logic Terminal. And next one, that is the EL1904, the Safety Input Cards menu. And third one, that is the EL2904 Safety Output menu. For example, this picture comes from this page. So in this picture, the card number showing like this way, they are not correct. So if we go to the wiring chapter, EL2904 pin assignment, this number showing here, these are correct. So the sequence follows this way, one, two, three, four. This is a five, six, seven, eight. Really take care about this. And for the input, Let's go here, and for the input card, from the picture wheel, the picture showing like this, a number like this way is really confused. They are not correct. Like this picture, all those numbers follow this way, one, two, three, four, five is here. All those cards follow this way, including the controller, as well as as an interface card. Like this, this is uh, the safety input card. So the pins number follow this way. Keep in mind this.
other than the hardware menus, there are also two additional menus. Uh, one is this, Application Guide Twin Safe. This menu is highly recommend to read first because um, I like this uh, chart and the diagram style. For example, if we look at this uh, eStyle function, category three, PLD, basically follow the evaluation safety level. For example, if your system need a category three, PLD, this safety level, uh, the input and output, we can follow this way. It's very clear to show the entire loop, how we can do the wiring, how we can do the programming. If you want to learn more deeply how we can set some detailed settings, you could also download this TwinKite Safety PLC. That is uh, the entire safety programming menu. For example, here it shows how we can download the safety application. It need us to type in the password as well as this uh, CRC code here. And those are the menus uh, you could uh, look at that first. And in this uh, series videos, I will use this cell as an example. This cell is one typical assembly cell or manufacturing cell in the plant. They are very widely used. They are very common. The operator will load the part into this uh, turntable. At the operator side, this is the vertical light curtain, and this is a horizontal light curtain. On here, there is the one install button on the main control panel here, and this is a stack light showing the status of the machine. And once the operator loads the part on this uh, turntable, um, before he pump out the button, uh, or the light curtain not clear, the cell on go. And if the light curtain clear and the part loaded correctly, after the operator press this pump button, the cell will start. For example, if the part present here and the cylinders and valves or clamp can be closed to do some assembling task here. And after this area is task done and uh, light curtain is still clear and the safety is enabled, safety functions are enabled, the turntable on this side will rotate inside the cell and leave another side rotate out leave the time for the operator load the part on another side. When the turntable rotates in, inside the cell, maybe it is a assembly cell, maybe there's a welder inside, for example, the project welder inside, so the machine can do some task inside. And with this guard and with the safety door behind and the install button, it will protect the operator. While the machine is doing something inside the cell, the operator can load the part on another side. And once he load the part and uh, finish the loading, he can pump out the button. If the inside parts finished and outside the light curtains area are clear, so the turntable will rotate, will index the new parts into the cell and uh, rotate the finished part outside the cell. This is uh, the whole cycle which means in this cell, the safety equipment include vertical light curtain, horizontal light curtains, e-stop, and the gate switch. Even if this cell is a standalone and a small, however, that light curtain, e-stop, and the gate switch, they are really commonly used in industry. So it can be used uh, as an example. So in this series video, I will use this cell as a application background and use this CX9020 as well as a EL6910 safety controller. Use this control system as an example. And once we download this uh, TwinCat 3 software, engineer software, the latest version that is a 3.1, 4024.6. Once you download this software and install that, you could see two icons showing here. That is a TwinCat XAE and a TwinCat XAE shell here. So 
In next video, I will show how we can start to create a project using this uh, TwinCat 3 program. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.